what is this? It's number three. Is yes, it's the Clancy house? Hmm. Uh, dear TNG, and just writing to inform you that we did in fact receive your letter of complaint about your local post postal delivery service men. We take any complaints very seriously and have strict procedures in place that are taken in case of that event. Such takes. Uh, yeah. Please feel comfort in the fact that your complaint will be looked at and act upon as sufficient evidence is found to be in your favor. All employees of Royal Post Incorporated need to comply with our high standards of customer service, and we are extremely sad to hear about your recent experiences. We will be sending a follow-up letter in the coming weeks after we complete our investigation into the matter. Please feel free to contact our HR department if you have any further questions. You son of a bitch. That's number three. Oh, yeah. Wait, Tina and Gina? Tim and Gina? Como estas? Biblioteca? Alan Clancy! Whoa, brother! Sorry, but I just can't carry it. Large item. Package too big for postman. Your mailbox is too small. <gasps> is it? Oh, it's time for a birthday party. Oh. Time for Ben's birthday party. It's time for a birthday party. Who's having a birthday party? Guess who it is, Ben? It's Ben. Ben's a growing boy. He's four years old. He's a growing boy. He's a man now. Gonna give him a gun. Show him how to go into the wilderness. Fighting tigers in the wilderness. Ben, happy birthday. You're four years old. Hope I don't get caught touching myself. Do do do. Post office. Oh Jesus. Post office. Oh, another crappy note. We're very good at your job. We should ask for a raise. What? Who keeps writing me these letters? Day six. Turns out at the end I'm a slut. Turns out at the end I'm imagining everything. Right. <clears throat> Home! How to make your kitchen sparkle, you slut. I turn any pages? No? Okay. Licky, licky, licky. A licky at top. Oh, yes. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Reginald, as we discussed last night with your financial advisor, I think the best course of action for your current situation will be to sell your house. We both pay back the remaining section of your mortgage and provide you with enough reserve to purchase a smaller house and manage your financials a bit easier. We will come to your residence tonight with some contracts, forms, signs we can bring into the process. From my initial assessment, the value of property is worth around 250 k 15. I advise a private buyer and an auction within the next few weeks, and we better get the full price you're asking for. Thanks again. Licky it up. Oh, yes, that's right. Detective Brash here. We spoke on the phone yesterday. This is in regards to a complaint about your neighbor, Alan Clancy. <laughs> Wait, my name is Alan. Is my name Alan Clancy now? Is everyone named Clancy in this friggin' town? Uh. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, that's the other guy? I don't know, there's a lot of... Oh, wait, no, Alan is the guy that lives over here on house number four. 
Just to follow up and let you know, I haven't begun an investigation into your claims. Alan has been investigating in the past in regards to the same behavior towards women back when he was living with his mother. The claims were eventually found to be true, and Alan was sentenced to 10 months of home detention. If you notice anything unusual, see Alan around your property or place of work. Bring me as soon as possible. I'll take care of him. We'll talk to you later, and blah, 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 blah. Detective Ron Brash. Hmm. Detective Steak Beef Beef Crunch. At your service. I don't want to wait. Hello, Alan. It's Tina here, your neighbor. I just thought I'd write you to request you stop sneaking around the house and writing me letters. I'm flattering you think so highly of me, but you're just not really my type. Not interested in relationship. Wait, which... One, two, three... Uh, okay. I'm thinking all these people are, like, old people, but obviously not. I'm flattered that you think so highly of me, but you're just not really my type. I'm not interested in a relationship. It's time I've been in touch with local detective. And he's advised me that you're under surveillance. I personally don't think this is the right course of action, as I'm not the sort of person that can't work out these things myself. So please cut the weird stuff out, and let's be good neighbors like we used to. Sincerely. Apologies for the paper. Please don't take this the wrong way. Oh, Tina, you're going to get stabbed in the face. Let's go, everyone. Deliver the mail, deliver the mail, someone's gonna get- Oh, can I go- <gasps> Deliver the mail, deliver the mail, I just found out an amazing secret. Deliver the mail, deliver the mail, I'm gonna throw all the mail inside of your feet. I'm reading all of your mail. And guess who's reading your mail? I am, oh yes. Guess who's reading your packages? Oh yes. Guess who's reading the mail? I am. Oh, I'm gonna read all of your mail. Bum, bum, bum. It's night time. Time to go to the bathroom in my underpants. Wait, can I go? Let's see. Breaking the rules. I just want to see if there's anything else. Unless this is just a shit. Alright, uh... I don't have the game in full screen because when I go in full screen I can't record. So when, whenever you click out of the game, Fraps destroys the game. Thankfully there's a continue option though. You never talk to me anymore, please stop shutting my knee out. Shut me out. Oh, ba -da -ba -boo. whoa, turning off the lights tonight. Ba -ba -boom. It's been a week since my life has changed. I know everybody's dirty garbage. Oh no! One, three, four. Something happened. Mrs. and Mrs. Reginald, did you sell your house, you sluts? I love you, Mom. From Alan. Wow, Alan, holy shit. God damn. Alan, you were one creepy mother of Christ. Oh god, no. Home defense, protecting yourself and your home. Catalog 22, 21, 27, 74. Yeah, I would get that too. Because Alan's insane. Hi, Alan. It's your father, Tim. Just trying to let you know your mother got in contact with me and told me that, we're get that you were getting in trouble again. We've talked about this before a few years back when I was at home. I told you that you should... Really control your urges or you'll end up like me in, in prison. Please, Alan, control yourself or your mother's going crazy with worry. And other news, I'm making a pocket from selling these fake phone cards you've been sending me. Keep it up, my boy, but don't tell your mother. Seriously. God. Wait, why would you send... Why would you sell fake phone cards? Like, people are going to immediately know. <laughs> I'm going to miss the Reginald family. It's a real shame that they had to sell. Stuart Banks are always messing with people's lives. Hopefully someone nice moves in. Someone nice that I can read their mail. 
Non-stop. <gasps> there have been feet prints. There have been feet prints. Alan, what are you doing? Alan. Alan, you stupid feet prints over here. It's so friggin' obvious. Unbelievable, Alan. Unbefriggin' believable. Jesus, Alan. You cannot be such a friggin' creep. Full sale. For sale and seven years ago. I swear I keep seeing something moving in the shadows. Better get back home before it eats me. <laughs> uh, uh, why do I scare myself? Oh god! Oh dear. Sometimes I imagine monsters coming out and burning me alive. Also, I live in the post office. Ha! Scared of your own shadow? Wanna make us both look bad? Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm Alan. Hmm. Why would I sleep in the post office after all? Wait a minute. Why would I sleep in the post office, actually? That's what's gonna happen. I'm Alan. I think I'm Alan. Jenny, you son's a friggin' creep. Jenny, I tried, really did. Alan has followed my footsteps. I'm broken. Could you not have gone to visit him and stop his stupidity? You're his mother. You're not in the, this goddamn box, unable to do anything. Now your son is with me. In the next cell, actually. Hope you're happy that you sat back and did nothing. I'll try and keep him safe, but as you might know, sexual predators don't exactly get treated with respect in here. I'm both frustrated... Oh, never mind. I'm not Alan. I'm both frustrated and annoyed that you couldn't even look out for your own son. You go on about how I left you and the kids with nothing. You can't seize yourself... See yourself in the mirror and see the reason why I had to leave you. Take care of yourself, Jenny, and enjoy stove. The guy is an, abs guy is an absolute dickhead, so I'm sure you two will be just fine. Fucking Jenny... Jenny's such a bitch. No. No, I just, just want to leave. Sure seems a lot emptier now that Tina, Gina, and Alan are no longer around. Mm -hmm. Yesterday afternoon was certainly eventful. Wish so much that I could prevent Alan from getting so dangerously close to Tina. But I couldn't. They found out about my reading habits. At least my job. Really hope Jenny's okay. Having her husband in jail would be hard enough to cope with. She's the only house I need to deliver today. Wonder if I can catch her for a chat. Oh god. Oh fucking god. I don't want to shit my pants. Eh? Eh? Oh, okay, good. This day seems to be getting shorter and shorter, not to mention the fact that I have less and less mail to deliver. Thank God Jenny's still here and we out of a job. She seems to be the strongest one around here. I mean, dealing with both their son and husband in prison? That must be a tough situation. I'll ask her tomorrow if she knows anything about the letters I've been receiving. She's always good, has good advice to give. I'm gonna get murdered. I'm getting scared. Oh! Oh! No! 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 Oh god. Oh god. Alarm clock? Alarm clock? Where am I? Ugh, my head. Why am I outside the Reginald house? Last thing I remember is coming to home to a vandalized door. Must have sleepwalked here. God, now I feel like such an idiot. What if someone saw me? It's gonna look very bad with the complaint that Tina and Gina made. I better check if there wasn't anything or other damage. I don't want to lose my job and have to pay the bill to fix up the post office. Oh god, this is creepy. Yeah. You! You! Oh! Oh god. 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 Oh god, I shit my pants. Oh god, I shit my pants. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I'm okay. I'm a big brave dog. I'm big. Oh! Uh. I'm a big brave. I'm a big brave dog. I'm big. I'm a big brave dog. I'm, I'm a big brave dog. I'm a big brave dog. I'm big. I'm a big brave dog. I'm big. I'm big. Thank god. I think whoever is gone, I'll get to the bottom of this. It's gone too far. First the note sends a vandalized door. Who in the right mind would knock so loudly so early in the morning? Speaking of gone, where did everyone go? Ah, ungrateful people. That was the best postman they ever had. Now they've abandoned me. Can't they see the effort I put into the job? The pain it has cost me? Absolute scum of the earth. I'm glad they're all gone. I'm glad I'm the only one left. What am I even running from? My imagination? Is there anyone even at my door? They can't... No. The place a ghost town. Stuff in my kitchen. It can't have been me. 
has to have been the person with the grudge. Certain, I'm certain that I've been taking the pills Dr. Parrish prescribed. Better get back and make sure whoever was at the door is gone. Oh, Jesus Christ. Crap. Fucking death house again. Shit my pants. Oh! Oh! <laughs> no! Oh, no! Hello! Hello! Oh, God! Seal, sign, deliver, I'm your... Well, that was horrifying. <laughs> Jesus, God dang. Well, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed me screaming like a girl. Um, this was a fun time, and thanks for watching. So, hope you enjoyed Indie Story Sunday, and I shall see you in the future. Don't forget to check your mail.